boo, that'll frighten you. I long to hear your cries. You won't survive the tale that I've so coolishly devised. <laughs> Dog and haunted, he's undaunted, tales from the crypt. <laughs> Greetings, boils and ghouls. It's your old pal, the Crypt Keeper here, known also by fright fiends everywhere as America's most haunted. <laughs> Come over to my crypt for another sip from my cauldron of spew, have you? Well, I've got just the drink for you. It's a cold and bloody tropical delight, guaranteed to tingle your ears and fill your eyes with tears of terror. Ever wanted to get lost on an island paradise, kitty? After you hear this tale, you'll be heading north and staying as far from coconut trees as you can get. Anything to escape from the island of death. Give me that bottle. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty's Iris <laughs> Would you listen to Jake and Gary? Going to Tahiti to celebrate was a great idea, Quinn. The boys are having a good time back there in the passenger section, no doubt about that. But listen, you gotta tell me. Five best martial arts films of all times. Oh, don't you ever get tired of that stuff, Bailey? And you've known me how many years? Come on, Bailey, I mean... Look at that sunset. I think we'd have to put Enter the Dragon at number one. No question. Bruce at his best. Out the window, Bailey. The clouds reflecting in the water. It's like the whole ocean is on fire. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, Bailey. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. It is great, Quinn. Who would have thought internet stocks could buy happiness? Taking the company public bought us this airplane. I'm supplying my own happiness, my friend. <laughs> all right, all right, me too. But here's my second choice. Fong Sai Yuk. Where Jet Li is like a Manchu Dynasty chop sake dude or something? That's the one. Now come on, what's number three? I don't know. Yo Yimbo, maybe? Samurai film, Kurosawa. I don't know if samurai flicks count, buddy. Oh, give me a break. Toshiro Mifune could kick Jet Li's butt any day. You know, that was always your trouble. You take art crap over good kung fu. I like what I like. But it's the good kung fu that'll get you out of a jam, buddy. Okay, five best blood and guts horror flicks of... Ah! That's not a good sound. Whoa. Oh. Uh, 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 oh my uh, god! Check out the starboard engine, Bailey! Uh, um, Quinn? Check the goddamn engine, Bailey! There isn't any starboard engine! Uh, uh, Tailspin! Uh, Tailspin! Uh, oh my god! We had it overhauled in Tahiti! Uh, oh, damn! Damn! Damn rudder won't respond, uh, Bailey! Uh, I'm pulling as hard as I can on it! I'm going down with my boots on, Quinn! Best blood and guts horror films of all time! Texas Chainsaw Massacre! Evil Dead 1! Evil Dead 2! I can't hold the plane, Bailey! The Exorcist! Come on, Quinn, give me the last one! Right! Damn it! Number five! Silence of the Lambs! You and your damn art films, Quinn! I got it! I got it! Too low! We're going in! See you at the movies, Quinn! Hang on, Bailey!
I don't know how to thank you, Galatea. You'll find a way. Well, first you saved my life when I washed up on your beach, and now the wine and the food. There are too few visitors to the island. Those who make it here are very special. I thought I was dead. I must have been delirious with the fever for days. Yes, many days. But now your brow is cool. Well, this island isn't on the standard maps, I can tell you that. I thought I was flying over trackless ocean. A lucky thing that your map was wrong. <laughs> Lothar! Yes, mistress? Prepare the television for viewing. As you wish, mistress. Television? Do you have a satellite dish? Of course. Capable of two-way transmissions. But there is a great deal of sunspot activity this week. Solar flares most unfortunate. We'll watch a video. Forget your troubles, Quinn. At least for tonight. Here is wine, a good film, a tropical paradise. A beautiful woman. A lonely woman. Mistress, the video is cued. This evening you will be viewing Joe McRae and Fay Ray in the most dangerous game. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Lothar. <laughs> Come, Quinn. Galatea, may I ask you something? Certainly. What is it that you do here? Why, we produce our own television show. <laughs> but pleasure before business, I always say. I couldn't agree more, Galatea. <laughs> oh, Galatea! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Galatea! Oh, Galatea. Yes! Oh, you're oh. such an animal! Oh, oh you're Contestant, my animal. You better get up and strap that knife on your belt. Oh, and don't forget the granola bars. Knife? Granola? Galatea, where are you? <laughs> You'll find that your window latch is now open. You really better be going. The rules give you an hour's head start. <laughs> so what? This is Survivor crossed with some South American snuff film or something? RTI has a very carefully selected viewing audience, my animal. Discerning, discreet. In fact, we have exactly one very special viewer. A viewer who is wealthy even beyond your wildest dreams. This is all for the amusement of some sick, rich pervert? I wouldn't call our viewer names if I were you, Quinn. He is not. A pervert. He's an honorable man, just as I am an honorable woman. <laughs> Besides, he gets to vote whether or not you get another night with me. Assuming you make it to day three, that is. <laughs> I'd rather eat a maggot pie than spend another night with you now, Galatea. Oh, you nouveau riche American with your quaint expressions. Ooh, I'm afraid your room will soon be full of tear gas. What do you know about praying mantises, my animal? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> they're green. They look like sticks and eat other bugs. <clears throat> the female mates with the male and then... Yes, go on. <clears throat> and then she bites off his head. Oh, exactly. <clears throat> Fear and passion, my animal. Those are the ingredients for the best drama. By the way, do not forget your knife on your way out. Or the granola. You really must eat. Oh, Galatea, stop this! I turned the gas on full now. You better run. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Stop it! <laughs> stop this! Man. 
practice. The first day. Quinn Dillon's head start time allotment is up. Stage one, staunch denial has now passed to stage two, disbelief. And Quinn is about to enter the third stage of contestant reaction, outright terror. Realization is dawning on Quinn that Galatea is seriously out for blood. But will Quinn understand in time to save himself from the Mantis? Jeez, turn the television up, will you? Mantis is on. Yes, sir. Immediately. Uh, thank you, Jeeves. You may go now. Yes, sir. You're shooting at me, Galatea! You're trying to kill me! Stop it! Do you hear me? Of course I hear you. There are cameras and microphones everywhere on the island, my animal. And speakers in many of the trees. You can rest assured that you and I will always be able to communicate in our relationship. Our relationship? We have no relationship! What about last night, my animal? Such passion. And now... Chase. You should thank me. Most men never get to feel this with a woman. Oh. My. God. Quinn has now reached the edge of the island hyena compound. The next step he takes will say a lot about what kind of contestant he's gonna be, won't it, Galatea? That's right, Doris. You know, most of the contestants have had a lot of trouble with my hyenas. Hyenas? <laughs> she has hyenas. It looks like Quinn's fear is now at a fever pitch. He has to be asking himself, which will drag him down? The terror, the hyenas, or both? My hyenas have certainly proved a good method for getting men into the spirit of the game. But it is never over until it is over. You're standing on one side of the hyena compound, my animal. You'll just have to discover where the other side lies. <laughs> I'm not stepping over that perimeter. Damn it! That was close! Damn it, Galatea! You won't have any trouble finding the other side. It still has quite a splash of blood on a tree trunk for poor Gary. He almost made it, but they dragged him down by his, well, by his ass. His ass? <laughs> Such an ungraceful ending. Well, Gary was a bit of a klutz in other ways as well. Get in there, Quinn. Oh, hell. Oh, damn! now a hundred meters into the hyena compound with the dogs hot on his trail. One stumble and they'll be on top of him in an instant. That's right, Doris. You can be sure that these are very hungry animals. Got a thing. Got a thing. Hyenas. Hyenas. Hyenas eat anything. Hyenas will eat anything. Hyenas will eat What's this? Quinn seems to be slowing down. It looks like this promising hunt might be a dud after all. But we should see some good action when my hyenas catch up, Doris. And here they come. Hanging back, are you guys? Waiting for the kill? Can't have that. Damn, ouch! Oh, here! Here you go, fella. Quinn has sliced into his own arm with his hunting knife. Galatea, what do you make of it? I have to admit that I am not sure, Doris. It may be that he has decided to end it all early. I certainly expected better from this one. And here comes the leader of the hyena pack, drawn by Quinn's blood. Come in. That's right, big guy. Get close. Get closer. Go for the arm. The best meat on it. That's right. Gotcha! Yeah. Yeah. Tear into my arm! Ah, ah, there it is! Ah, God damn, that hurts! That's right, bite my arm! Oh, no, 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 don't let go! Come here, stay here! Stay here and die! Ah, die! 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 Get back, the rest of you! Get back! Here, you want to taste? You want to taste your buddy's blood? Here you go! <laughs> well, how about that? 
that. He's thrown the hyenas one of their own to feast on. It is a great ploy, Doris. I am very happy to see Quinn using his head this early in the game. I was afraid for a moment that he was not going to live up to the potential we all saw in him. Oh, he is proving to be a first-rate contestant. That he is, Doris. That he is. Day two on the island. Sunrise finds Quinn Dillon a bit chewed up, but still alive. He's led Galatea Habsburg on quite a chase. Galatea, I'm sure the viewers are wondering how you feel about Quinn's chances this morning. This is very exciting, Doris. One of my best hunts ever. Intelligent and dangerous game truly thrills my blood. <laughs> you know, sitting here in New York, it's difficult to imagine what it must be like to be there in the island jungle, to feel your pulse pounding as you close in for the kill. There's really <laughs> nothing like it. On days like this, I'm certain that I have the best job in the world, Doris. Now, do you have any idea where Quinn is at the moment? I have tracked him into the swamp just below Skull Mountain. He may hope to lose me there, but of course I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> this is where the hunt becomes most interesting. Oh, interesting indeed. Well, thanks for the update, Galatea. We'll check back with you soon. Look forward to it. Swamp is another goddamn obstacle course. Quicksand here. No quicksand there. Oh my god. What now? Close. Bailey? Buddy, is that you? Getting close. Almost done. Bailey! You're... What are you doing? Hey. Hey, Quinn. I'm glad you're here. But I don't need you now. I'm almost out of the trap now. What trap? I don't see any trap. Hmm. My foot. Got my foot caught in this bear trap here, but not for too much longer. Hard to reach, but just just a couple of more bites and I... I'll have this sucker chewed right off. Oh God, Bailey, no! Your leg! You've chewed into your leg. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. I got a good start on the muscles, and then it's on to the tendons after that. Oh, Bailey. Oh, I can't believe this. I wish we had both died in that crash. Don't say that. It's good to see you, Quinn. I thought oh, I was sure I was going to die alone. Well, in front of all the goddamn Mantis cameras, of course, but alone. I'll get you out of here, Bailey. I swear it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you watch too many movies, Quinn. <laughs> movies. The five best death scenes of all time. Oh, Bailey, man, I cannot think about this. You have to, Quinn. Like... Schwarzenegger dies in the fire in the first Terminator? Yeah, but that was a fake out, and it was dynamite that finally killed him. What? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Schwarzenegger died in the fire. All right. I'll start. Countdown. For five. You gotta go with Jaws when the sea captain slides into the Great White. Four is Raiders with the, with the melting Nazis. 
W what about the other three? Okay. Okay. Uh, death scenes. Yeah. Scenes from movies, Quinn. Fiction. Best five. Come on. You have to think Peck and Paw for death scenes, buddy. Uh, how about uh, Ride the High Country for number three? You know, the bad guy has a change of heart, takes a bullet for the good guy. Yeah. You're right, right. He looks at the high country one last time. And falls out of frame. The end. It's a good one. Good one, but don't forget the monsters, right? The queen and aliens. You know the second alien movie? She gets sucked out the airlock. Oh, sad. That, that's number two. I've got it, Bailey. Number one is Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Ah, uh, another peck and paw. Uh, what wasn't that? Slim Pickens. You know, Christopherson guns him down and peck and paw intercuts with all those chickens. The classics. Yeah. When in doubt, Quinn, always go for the classics. And that song. Knocking on heaven's door. Right. Dylan wrote it especially for the movie. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven. Bailey? Bailey? <sighs> Bailey? There's more. There's got to be more movies we can talk about. Bailey! Remember all the lists? Jeez, Bailey, we've known each other since we were practically kids. Bailey boy, come on, Bailey! Don't quit now with the trivia. Don't quit now! You listen to me. Listen to me, you vultures. This is Bailey. Bailey Thomas Jackson. He and I grew up together. We built a company together. He was my best friend. <laughs> Galatea, I will hate you forever. And you, 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 you peeping Tom, you goddamn voyeur, huddled in your plush chair in your secret little room, you have no shame. None of you. That is completely obvious. But I want to find out one thing. You say you have honor. Will you let me take my friend and bury him in peace? Will you avert your eyes for just that long? Are you listening to me, Galatea? Do you have any honor left in you whatsoever? Answer me! I'll give you an evening's truce to bury me, Quinn. You were watching, weren't you? All of it? Of course. Then will you honor my request? We'll go to pre-recorded interviews and play-by-play -play analysis tonight. Do what you have to do. Galatea. <laughs> you bitch. Don't press your luck, my animal. Go and do what you feel you must. After that, the game continues. Let's go to the movies, Bailey boy. Jeeves, isn't time yet? Is it time for Mantis? It uh, is time, oh. sir. Uh, here are your heart pills, yeah. sir. Blast it, Jeeves, turn on the damn television. Today's the day I get to vote thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> Where's my voting button? Well, uh, the interactive voting device is right here, uh, and, uh, sir, the television is on. Well, then, fix the reception. I will try one more time. Ah, there. There, sir. We apologize for the brief delay in the satellite feed from Mantis Island today, but now let's get right to the action. Mantis, day three. 
After pinpointing the location of our technical difficulty, Galatea has climbed the island's volcano, Skull Mountain, to examine the satellite dish uplink. Her servant, Lothar, follows close behind with a camera, as there are no stationary video devices in place within this barren landscape. There to the right and ahead of Galatea, we see the satellite dish that provides the uplink for Mantis. <laughs> well, that's odd. Someone seems to be... What? Get off! Quinn seems to be reclining in the interior curve of the satellite uplink. He seems to be... <laughs> well, taking a nap. Get off that dish! I mean it! Galatea obviously can't shoot Quinn without harming the dish. This isn't at all amusing. I was planning on sparing you, my animal, but now you're going to suffer before you die. I swear to you, I will make you pay for this. Wait a minute. Lothar? Yes, mistress? Something is not right here. Zoom in on the satellite dish. As you wish, mistress. Doris. Describe what you see on the uplink. Well, it's a man, Galatea, and his arms are... Well, they're spread out over the curve of the dish. It looks as if he's been crucified on it, to tell you the truth, the way he's laying. Lying. Well, yeah, I always got those two mixed up. His it's legs! Cool. His I... legs! Describe his legs, you oh, idiot! Okay, well, one of them has been bleeding a lot below the knee, Galatea. Zoom in as close as you can on the face, Lothar. As you command, mistress. It's Bailey, isn't it, Doris? <sighs> yes, yes, it's Bailey. It's Bailey, Galatea! Oh, 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 my animal. Oh, you've set a little trap, haven't you? Hmm, what lies between me and that satellite dish? A pitfall, perhaps? Oh, well, that's very clever of you to play on my sense of honor like that. But it won't do you any good in the end. Oh, no, no. That's right. You better hide, my animal. I will seek you. I will find you. The honor of the hunt, my animal. You made a plea to me yesterday, and I have kept my promise. And what have you done? Oh, you've desecrated the memory of your friend. I should have known you are an animal, Quinn. I have a proposition for you. I won't shoot you yet. You have my word of honor. Now you know you can trust in my word when I give it. <laughs> well, I think we should let the viewer decide. What do you say to that, my animal? Do I shoot you down in cold blood or do I let you live? All right, Galatea. Here I am. Incredible. Quinn has risen from a volcanic pit about 15 feet away from Galatea. He's covered in gray volcanic dust and he, he's smiling like, like some wild animal or I, I don't know, something. Oh, my animal, how clever. Hiding in the pit that should have been Bailey's grave. Let's get this over with, Galatea. Lothar, have you got us both in frame? Yes, mistress. Ha <laughs> ha, then let the voting begin. That's it. A first in Mantis history. Galatea has called for a vote. And it's a vote to determine who will be the ultimate survivor. Stand by, viewer. And by to vote in this exciting contest of wills. Oh, my God. The, the reception. The, the, the reception, Jeeves. Yes, I can't miss this. Where's the voting box? Where is it? Where? It's just there beside you, sir. This is the moment, viewer. Press the red button, and Galatea gets to be once again declared the winner of Mantis. The Black and Quinn will be declared the victor and will receive it. Time to make the ultimate selection of the fittest specimen on Mantis Island. Sir, your heart! No. Sir, are you, are you quite all right, sir? seem to be experiencing technical difficulties with the interactive feed, Galatea. What? No vote has been recorded. You can't be serious. This is going to be the highest rated show yet. He has to be watching. Galatea, no vote has been entered. Daddy? Can you hear me? Daddy? You had better be watching, damn you. Daddy! I swear to God, if you're not watching me, I'm gonna kill you! I'm going to come home and I'm just gonna kill you! Now vote for me, God damn you, Daddy! Oh, 
Daddy! Uh, vote! Uh, please, uh, please, sir, your heart! Uh, I have to vote. I have to vote for Quinn. That's, that's the ultimate. But, but, sir, 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 it's just a television show. Oh, Quinn is the ultimate survivor. <sighs> <laughs> sir? Sir? Can you hear me? Sir? Mr. Habsburg, can you hear me? Why won't he vote? Why won't he vote? That should do it. Stop that! Stop it! Bailey? But you're dead! I watched you die myself. I saw it with my own eyes. I, I saw it! I saw it! On television? <laughs> if you shoot Quinn, I'll wreck the dish. But your leg! Oh, my leg's not what it used to be, but I'll survive. I'm not so sure I can say the same about your precious satellite uplink unless you drop the gun. I'll shoot Bailey. I'll gun Quinn down right now if you don't stop it! <laughs> well, if you do that, I'm afraid that it's no more TV for a week, Galatea. Stop it! Stop hurting my dish! He will stop watching! You will kill my ratings! Mister, <gasps> be careful! You yourself pointed out to me, Stop it! Stop it, I say stop it! No! Listen to you, Lothar. Bad pitfall. No. With obsidian sticks. Straight out of the most dangerous game, you know? Joel McRae and Fag Ray. Don't forget Leslie Banks. When in doubt, always go back to the classics. Your mistress is dead, Lothar. I will miss the beatings. I think you've had enough of the company of women. Point the camera this way. Very well. Are we rolling? We are rolling. <clears throat> Greetings, subscribers to Reality Television International. Mantis is now officially canceled. But we hope you'll stay tuned for a new show, Revenge of the Internet Geeks. <laughs> yeah, coming soon to a television near you. Now, can somebody help me down from here? Will you help us, Lothar? Yes, master. Then turn off the camera. Yes, master. Uh, wait a second. Yes? Doris, you're fired. Kill it, Lothar. I'm back. It's me, your good old gory teller, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> well, creeps, Quinn Shaw raised the stakes on Galatea in that adventure, didn't he? I think Galatea finally got the point that it isn't so fun to kill for ratings when the person who dies is you! <laughs> well, I'll be returning soon with another heaping helping of heave to tingle your taste buds. Until then, I'll leave you with this cryptic remark. You know you're a corpse if you throw a football and your hand goes along with it. <laughs> 
Tales from the Crypt, Island of Death was written by Tony Daniel, adapted from the story in the EC comic book The Vault of Horror, originally published by William M. Gaines. Island of Death starred Gina Gershon as Galatea Habsburg and Luke Perry as Quinn Dillon. Also heard were Anne Bobby as Doris, Todd Cummings as Jeeves, Ramon de Ocampo as Bailey, Rafael Ferrer as Lothar, Nick Wyman as Mr. Habsburg, and John Kassir as the Crypt Keeper. Island of Death was produced and directed by Brian Smith. Associate producer was Larissa James. Sound design by John Colucci. Casting by Laura Richin and Judy Bowman. Tales from the Crypt series theme composed by Danny Elfman, lyrics by Jack Wall. Arrangement of series theme and original score of Island of Death by Ohad Talmor. Executive producers Jack Wall and Brian Smith. Also Richard Donner, David Geiler, Walter Hill, Joel Silver, and Robert Zemeckis. The Crypt is closed.